Hey everybody, before we get into today's video, I have a huge favor to ask. I'm launching a brand new channel with the Chaos Crew, it's called the Chaos Crew, and it's just all of our highlights and funniest moments compressed and compiled into funny short videos. We need some help to get it up to a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours so that we can monetize the channel and actually pay the editor that's making these videos for us. So if you could do us a solid and head over to the channel, click that subscribe button, watch a few of the videos, and then obviously keep watching because, you know, that's how it makes money. Um, that would be amazing, and I'd be really, really grateful. Anyway, on with the show. I'm stuck and I'm good. Hello and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. My name is Sponge. Calvin here has found an amazing place to take a break. As you can see, he is resting perfectly on top of my logo. <laughs> you absolute muppet. <laughs> but I respect you nonetheless, because that is one hell of a feat you've got going on there. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do today, I just messed around a little bit off camera after last episode. I wanted to try and find out how to figure out the uh, old kind of the haptic crafting system so i tried to build a tree platform up there now it's uh, got the four logs up there there's no problems exactly the same but the other thing that is asking for is seven planks do um yeah tree platform seven planks and one rope now the rope is the problem because i think i need the rope before i can add the planks which is quite different from the forest in this case so we need to go and find cloth today and what i'm going to do is get calvin here to get logs and fill holder bingo off you go calvin enjoy that one yeah good lad well done boy off your trot go on go on then yeah there you go get out of my face there you go right eat a cooked fish this is quite graphic hey <laughs> chomp chomp no big deal happy days All right i am ready now i am um, i also if you add any material it gives you the list of the materials you can craft so, I need rope for a bow. Crafted bow, rope, two sticks. Um, yeah. Still, crafted spear, two sticks and a knife. Well, we've got the crafted spear already, so we're good with that. All right, so we'll go ahead and arm ourselves with a nice little spear here while we go off now to that green pingy thing to the north. And hopefully along the way, we will find ourselves some rope but the camp is kind of set up we're okay we've got food alvin's fine he goes out and gets his own food by the looks of it um let's go ahead and eat drink some water here from the river which is lovely that sorted us right out um yeah northbound that's the way we're going that'll be calvin chopping trees down he'll be fine Right, the mutants don't come when you chop trees down. It's all good. Let's have a little look around then. We're going to put some speed. Speed to the north. Speed. It is, it is great uh, looking forest, I've got to say. And that river is an excellent place to set up on because that is some beautiful running water right there. And it doesn't hurt my health drinking from it. Uh, thank you very much for joining me again today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, like I said, I do hope you enjoyed the last episode. I've been looking forward to this one. Die, squirrel! Excellent. Um, I hope you're enjoying Sons of the Forest. Like I said, it is interesting playing this solo. Last time I played the forest game, it was all multiplayer. So it's definitely spookier on your own. That's for sure. Anyway, further north we must go. Quite further north, it would seem. We've barely, barely begun our journey. Let's get moving. Oh, we have company. Hello, fella. Yeah, bye bye. It was inevitable. Her approaching a ping on the map was always going to attract some attention, so. Oh, hello. That was a nice landing. You're going to be nice and friendly now, yeah? You're not going to attack me. You're just curious. Okay. I. I'm not a threat, Mr. Mudman. 
Yeah, I Go about your business, Mr. Naked Mud Guy. That's it. Good lad. Well done. Okay, what we got over here then? There's definitely something here. I gotta keep an eye on this guy because at any moment he could just start turn and attack me. Um, I don't want to start a war with these people. Not yet, anyway. Inevitably, of course. But uh, they don't need to know that just yet. Oh, right. It's some kind of, like, surveyors. There's freaking golf buggies here. What the hell are they doing? Like, surveying it for mining, maybe? How bizarre. Such a weird place. To do a freaking survey. <laughs> Hello. Give me all your feathers. Thanks. Nice of him to land right next to me, I gotta say. Okay. Printed resin. Isopropanol. <laughs> okay. Alright, easy fella. Okay. Thanks for that. Alright, so what else is here then? I don't really understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. I gotta be honest, this is all a bit confusing. There's lots of birdies here. Lots of birdies. The green dot is fixated on this particular spot here, which I need a shovel to dig, it would seem. Need a diggy diggy hole. I uh, don't have a shovel, so that kind of negates that instantly. I'm like, uh, let's see if we can craft a shovel from sticks. Crafted spear, arrow, club, repair tool, and torch. Mm. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, never mind. I don't know how to craft a shovel. At this point. Our, uh, our, our little mascot here today is still about. They're very good at climbing trees, I've got to say. Okay, so that's fine. That's one of the little blips on the map that we've got here. There is plenty of other blips. We've got another one all the way over there. Um, but if we need a shovel, there's also a purple blip. Probably twice the distance. We've already travelled further up the river there. Purple sort of exclamation point we could try and check out. We do need cloth. So we do have to just go till we find cloth. And then we can make rope, right? Um, now, in the previous game, that was obviously like... Little uh, native campsites and stuff like that was where you got them from. Villages. Now, I don't know if it's the same here in Suns, but let's head again further north to the middle of the lake. That purple blip there and see what we find there. And hopefully Mr. Native Person, who's following us right now, um, will continue to leave us alone. Oh man, this will be a beautiful place to set up base. This would be a stunning place to set up camp. How beautiful! Alright, easy, tiger. Uh, yeah, no, that would that would work lovely. This may be it. This may be it. This may be the place to be, right here. Look at that. <laughs> Just for the views, man. Just for the views. Okay. Right, we do need to get the other side of this. We'll go around the top of it. Um. I wonder if swimming over, we might lose our, ta our, our tail here. Um, let's just go for it. Have a little swim, and we'll do a little sprint. Get stuck on a bloody tree stump. All right, let's keep moving, let's go. If we can lose him, I'm going to be much happier. Okay, here we go. There is definitely a campsite up ahead. But I got distracted by a squirrel. Got him. Give me your giblets, sunshine. I'll have your bits and bobs. I'll chuck them on a the fire later. It'll be lovely. Okay. Another one with some music playing here. Let's refrain from turning it off. Meds. Excellent. Circuit boards. Batteries. We have company anyway. Regardless of turning our memory pack. Excellent. 
A modern axe. Beautiful. That guy died. More tarp. Energy drinks. Come on, I've got to have some cloth here that I can make rope from. Can't seem to do anything with that. Hey! How you doing? Everything's okay. I want that pan, though. Jesus Christ, I just collected C4. More C4. What the hell are these guys doing? Other than dying. <laughs> right. Vodka bottles or Molotovs later on. Oh! There's a lady one. Alright, I'm gonna have to turn this off. I mean, aside from the fact that it's <laughs> probably copyrighted or something, I need to get a freaking claimed or some nonsense. Um, I can't hear them. Alright, so the slightly disappointing thing is I still don't have any cloth from this. Paper target collected. Okay. Batteries and printer resin. Again. With the freaking printer resin. What is that about? Okay. We have a quick check of the inventory. Okay, we have got some stuff now. I can't believe we just picked up C4, for crying out loud. Looks like we got ourselves an energy bar. Excellent. Rotten meat. Let's drop that then. Cooked fish is still good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat that before it spoils, if the rotten meat is spoiling already. That is not good. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. Love eating fish like that. That makes perfect sense. All right. We have got a very nice axe now. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. <laughs> uh, ask me a question. Go on. I freaking dare you. Anyway, the other thing is, is we haven't actually reached that purple dot. It's up there. We have to go past this camp and up the hill. Guys are getting a little bit more ballsy now. I'm slightly concerned. All right, let's um, let's just move on. Our uh, GPS is going haywire. Oh. Oh, I think I found him. Is that one of my guys in the helicopter? Shit, I need to get up here. I need to get this clear. I think I see our way through. Hmm. He did not look good. All right, we got some vodka. Rope! Ha-ha! <laughs> I assume I can cut this rope. There we go. All right. Now I just have to go down and get him. Oh, dear. Yeah, he did not do well. Flashlight, though. Bingo. Can't pick up any more vodka bottles. GPS located, selected. Oh, man. Well... That's one, I suppose. The good news is that we got some rope. So, that's good. I could probably... How do I put this? Multiple new crafting... Yeah, okay. I want to I wanna put the flashlight in my inventory, though. Crafted bow now. Uh, so, we can make that. We'll have some range. Crafted bow is just the duct tape. Boom. Fine. Yes! Nah, Bosif. Nice. Very nice. And they have some arrows. Put the torch down, man. Alright. We have a way of defending ourselves at range now. Lovely. We can also make more arrows. Alright, so that leaves then. What the hell to do now? <laughs> Galvin's caught up, look. <laughs> Bless him. Literally right on top of us. I don't know how he's going to suddenly appear here, but we've got a native right there. 
Gabby! I don't know how you do it, dude. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Absolute boss. Oh, he's great. So I say what we do is we head back down. Build ourselves a little base around that around that lake there. Because that that is just stunning down there. Alright, come on in, Kelvin, let's go. Well, well, well. Looks like our little three legged lady friend. Stop that. Has returned. Oh, and she's off. Hey, I guess. Oh boy. Um, I got Mudman and I got freaking three leg Vogue model over there. Okay, what do you guys want? What are you guys? Are you are you attacking me? Are you what? 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 What are you doing? Yeah, I see him, Kelvin. I, I see them. Yeah. What do we do with them? Do we attack them? Again, they're not necessarily that aggressive right now. I'm more interested in swimsuit model over there. Not for that reason. Because she's, like, slowly walking away. She's trying to lead me somewhere, I don't know. This is creepy. Go away! Oh. Yeah, yeah, she's trying to show me something. Oh, hello. Uh-huh. How are you stood on that? <laughs> also, your legs are clipping into themselves. Whoa. Okay. I don't know what is going on right now. Is she... Trying to leave me somewhere, or what? Hello? No? Okay. I... I remember reading something about, like, that he will become a companion eventually or something. Oh, shit. Hello. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Calvin. Let's go back to this spot up here. Are you attacking me? I will not strike first. Come it. Come on. Okay, this is the spot. Yeah, this is where we want to establish beasts. I mean, look at this. This is beautiful, right? This is beautiful. Right. Let's get building some stuff here. I figure this little peninsula here would be great. For a campfire and a basic setup, and then we can build out from there. And hopefully, the river will provide some defensibility <laughs> from these goons. Easy. When do you when do you attack? I don't know. Like they're not actively attacking me right now. Okay, that was an attack. Right. Frickin' war, my friends. I didn't strike first. You fucking did. You right, buddy? Follow me. 
Get sticks, build, stay, take a break, clear. Uh, clear, five meters would be good actually. Clear five meters. I don't know what that means. Nope, he says no. Okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, right, let's build a campfire then. At least the, uh, one of those killed one of them. They've all gone. I need sticks. Actually, Calvin. Sticks, buddy. Uh, get sticks and give to me. Nice. Thank you. Uh, the rest of them are gone now. But, inevitably, what that means is they'll just be back. And there'll be more of them, probably. I was hoping to steve off that first uh, attack a little bit longer than that. This is the only problem around here. There is not many sticks. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. There's a freaking turtle. Literally right... What the... Hold on. Turtles are super rare and great for water. Water collectors, the shells. I mean, we're right next to a freaking river, so it's not really necessary, I suppose, but... All right. Standard practice, then. Throw the freaking crazy bastards on the fire. If you can. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He's burning. He's burning. And we have bones. Lots of bones. Oh, I mean, we have company. Holy crap. They just jumped straight in there, didn't he? Yeah, you drown. You drown, mate. You freaking drown. I will take your corpse. And I will do what all good survivors do. And throw it on the fire. And I will take your corpse and I will throw it on the fire. There you go. Burn. All right. The war has begun. <laughs> oh, dear. It's going to result in many bones. Many. Where the hell is Calvin? What? Where? Oh, he's, he's all the way over there. Okay, that's fine. I got to build some stuff for him. Of course, I would build a skull stick and a bird just goes and lands on it. <laughs> It makes perfect sense. It makes absolutely perfect sense. Um, it's facing the wrong way, but hopefully it will get the message across. We will see. Apparently I'm thirsty. It's getting late. Oh, dark. They haven't built any kind of, like, shelter up here yet. I'd like to drink, please. Seem to drink this water. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm not sure about chopping wood in the middle of the night. But I'm not sure I have much choice right now. We have no shelter nearby. I suppose I could head to the old camp. But let's see if we can get this built. Everything takes a lot more time in this version of the forest. Hey, timber! Oh yeah, nice. I should probably get him set on logs next. Gonna build a little shelter. Bingo! There we go. So we can save that. Yes. Save. And have a little sleepy sleeps. There we go. Oh boy, I'm about to die of starvation. They're hungry. We have a bunch of raw meat. Yum. This will be fine. Oh, I broke him. Confirmed. Oh, well, then, mate, you managed to figure it out. Don't stand on the fire, you silly sausage. Take a break. Oh. 
Take a break, buddy. I've been working all night. All right, I need to eat this stuff. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. I got another MRE from that camp, of course. Now we're setting up a new camp. That's all. All the stuff that we had there down there is gone. Well, not gone, but you know what I mean. Okie dokie. So we've got another little camp set up now. We've got some bone storage, rock storage, stick and log storage. I've got a drying rack over here now. So with this set up here, we can now sort of look to maybe expand and build a proper base over in this area. And we've got everything we need to start doing that from here. Oof. Okay. Now, I haven't had any more contact with the natives since, you know, I, one of them drowned over there and I killed another one and cooked them on the fire and put this skull statue up here. So hopefully, I'll keep them at bay for a little while, but inevitably, they will be coming. They will be back. And we better think of freaking Kelvin. What an absolute monster. What a beast. Carry on, dude. You're doing great. <laughs> absolutely great so we should probably head over next time to the other green blip and purple dots on the map here that's clearly like the gps locations that we need to find um and we've got a lot of exploring to do guys we have a lot of exploring to do yeah that's we're we're just getting started though i'm armed with my bow i have my little sleepy campy place second one i suppose and we will be getting a big honking kind of cabin here that we're going to use and work from. And there goes Kelvin. Jumping down some more trees. What a boss. <laughs> what an absolute boss. Ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much all we have time for today, I'm afraid. I hope you are enjoying Sons of the Forest. Welcome to this beautiful, idyllic location. We have set up our second camp here at... And I think this is probably going to be where we're going to set up our main base. Unfortunately, the natives know we're here. We've killed them. The war has begun. And uh, we're all going to die. Anyway. <laughs> well, I hope you join me for the next one in any case. Thank you very much for watching. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.